This is KD, aka Handyman, aka the Idol Maker, aka Clay Davis, and I got a special artist on the line. Would you introduce yourself, please? Hey, y'all, how you doing? It's your girl Runtony right here with KD. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. And would you tell the listeners what you got going on? Because I've been playing that uh that song you got with Akon out. Like the Don't Matter remix? Oh yeah, that Don't Matter. They're going crazy over there in the clubs and on the stations I work with. Yeah, we have fun with that one. I think that came out last year. Um, we're actually working on a new remix. It's uh, featuring Ray J. Uh, Ray J's latest song, Sexy Can I. We, uh, we just did a female answer to his whole song. So... Uh, that should be releasing real soon. Um, just wrapped that up yesterday. So I'm excited about that. And um, right after that's released, we're going to be putting out another original song of mine, um, which we are still in the process of finishing right now. So got some stuff coming up. Could yeah. you uh, tell the listeners where they can go to see you and things like that? Definitely. Right now, um, you can check me out on MySpace. That's like my number one website. I can actually really connect with my fans that way. I do check it myself. It's um, myspace.com forward slash run to me music and my name is spelled R-A-N-J-I-N-I run to me music and I check it myself and I try my best to get back to y'all and I have all my dates coming up um, on the website so you can check it out. Okay, so you, you only check it yourself. You don't have any assistance uh, monitoring, do you? I predominantly check it myself, but I do have uh, one or two other people who, you know, help keep it up to date, you know, because I can't really always, you know, make the changes that need to be made um, to keep it up to date. But as far as checking the mail, I make sure that I'm on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Would you give them a little information? Because I know when I first went to your your site and I seen, you know, your, your pictures, because, I mean, hey, let's keep it real. Everybody on MySpace, they, they click them pictures. <laughs> I mean, I just got zoomed out because of your, uh, you're Indian? Yes. Okay, and uh, you were born in Virginia, right? Yeah, born and raised in uh, Richmond, Virginia. And that lost me right there. So how, how did you get to Richmond, Virginia? Well, my parents, you know, they um, immigrated here from India. Um, and that was back in the 70s. And they first lived in Canada. And then they came down. They, you know, my father just started working in Virginia. And then... A couple of years later, my brother, my sister, and I were born, and it was it was right there. That's, been, that's my roots, I guess you could say, you know, at least American-wise, is, is in Virginia. And then um, beyond that, I have my Indian roots. <laughs> right, right. And you're located right now, where about? In New Jersey, and I go back and forth between New York and New Jersey for work. Ooh, boy, y'all up there freezing. Oh, God, it's really cold right now, and I am a summer child. I can't stand this weather right now. I don't like, I'm not too crazy about the snow. I just, not part of my, you know, whole being. I understand that. I talk to a lot of people, a lot of listeners be checking out my shows, and I actually get into a lot of arguments of, with people who live up in New York and things like that. As far as like the cost of living, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, they always coming at me, well, we got all this going on, we got this, we got that. And I'm like, right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, hey, that's that's down here in Atlanta too. Uh -huh. Absolutely, you know, and I still feel like Virginia is one of those border states. It's not really the South, but it's more South than up here. So, you know, I do miss my my home, my hometown. Well, I understand. I mean, I I used to run up and down in Virginia. I'm actually from North Carolina. Okay. Um, yeah, and I okay. spent I spent a lot of time in Virginia when I was coming up as a kid. Up until the late 80s when I left and went to Colorado but I, I do know how, how Virginia rolls you've and been all around basically West yeah yeah I live in Colorado Oklahoma Texas and now I'm here in Atlanta that's good that's good for you <laughs> I don't know about all that but <laughs> it, it works for me you know? a lot of exposure oh yeah you know in the different music scenes I mean it's totally different from one place to the other I know. I mean, it's crazy. But as, as you said, you know, that cold weather. When I was in Colorado and I seen it snow in June, I knew. I knew I was in the wrong place. But I was in the military, so I ain't had no choice but to stay there until I could, you know, get out. Suck it out. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. And I actually, when I got out of there, that same day I signed out is the same day I hit 25 South, headed to Dallas, Texas. Oh, see, now that would have been a nice vacation. 
Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You know, it snowed like June 20th. That's crazy. And, and I left June 26th, and it was maybe about 72 degrees. I got down to Dallas, Texas. It was like maybe 101. Wow. And I didn't have any air conditioning in my car. I had survived the whole three years up in Colorado with no air conditioning. That's the only downside of it. Oh, yeah. We have the AC blowing and the heat. Yeah, that's the only downside. But I prefer heat over being too cold any day of the week. Yeah, same here, same here. So, um, yeah. do you do any uh, a lot of club events and things like that up in NY? Because I know NY got crazy clubs here. Yeah, they do, but we usually do a lot of the underground stuff. There's um, there's a, a nice little spot called the Village Underground up in New York City. Oh, yeah, I know about it. I, yeah. I, I spend at a few places up in NY. Yeah, so, they, they, you know, the club circuit is cool and everything, but, um, and I've done a couple performances, you know, I did a performance earlier this year at the Village Underground, and then um, before even that, I did a couple of other, you know, shows within New York, you know, the little the circuit up there, but I'm really focusing on getting my album together and then, bam, dropping it and then um, hopefully getting some good radio airplay and then uh, doing some bigger shows, you know, going out. It's, it's beyond just New York. I love New York and I love New Jersey. A lot of the excitement and the energy is up here, but, you know, I want to I wanna go elsewhere, you know. I want to go to Colorado and perform. I want to go down to Georgia and perform, so... Uh, radio airplay, you know, helps with that a whole lot.